It's a beautiful day to be alive! Gareth, you made it to the semi-finals, mate. You must be chuffed. Woo! <laughs> Who would have thought that, huh? The boy from Bridgen. And that was a good jump. That was brilliant from Gareth Thomas. I'm, like, so happy to have gone this far, because I feel like I've come since a long way, bro, so the pressure's on. Thomas has gone! You don't want to come all this way to fall on the final hurdle. New discipline, more things to learn. The giant style of It's something I'd hope to be strong at. Yeah. You've got to put a lot of prep into this course. Yeah. You can't just gun down it, you have to think about it. Yeah. I've kind of related everything back to the days of rugby where I think preparation is key. I've got one eye on Spencer because Spencer's so confident he can beat me. I love that. How hard did you yourself, Gareth? Still looking um, pretty average. The pressure of doing the jump in the semi-final is bigger than it's ever been before. Every minute I've skied, is now down to this moment. It's no secret that I'm delighted to still be here. You know, the final's right there. I can almost taste it. Until now, this has all been a bit of fun. Time to get focused. Suspense, you're doing well, because you've been through the battles, mate. Bless Gareth. I don't think he did it on purpose, but that is twice now. Spencer Matthews loses! He did my left shoulder in training and my right shoulder in the race. Matthews is gone! If I am racing Gareth, I feel as though I owe him a whipping. I'm sure he didn't mean to take me out, but he did wipe me out a few times. He's dead, he did, didn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> Grudge match commences, then. I do think this event does play into my favour slightly. I'm prepared to get your mind blown. Spencer's really fired up for Giant Slalom. I've not actually seen him this focused in the whole competition. I feel as though... How he's gonna get ya. As if. If I'm paired against Gareth, I'll be happy because... <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'll feel, yeah. Is there any rules in this run? Yes, there are. You're not allowed to touch me. I reckon you've been slowly but surely just trying to wipe me out of the competition. <laughs> Every single time I'm like taking a corner now. I, th I think I've got Gareth Thomas on the side of it. There's no one I'd rather be taken out by, to be fair. Gareth likes to think that he's got the psychological edge. What he doesn't know is that I'm allowing him to think that and therefore psyching him right back out. Mate, I think I could break you in half <laughs> if I crossed the line before you without even touching you. You'd be broken. I'll leave the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jade and I were just saying Gareth would psych you out, wouldn't he? Definitely, he's a machine. He's a machine. Scare me. So Gareth and Spencer are ready at the start. It's Rugby Boy versus Chelsea Boy, Filthy Boots versus Filthy Rich, and it's race time. Let's get over to Barry and Graham. The giant slalom standing at 300 metres is the biggest, fastest course we have ever had. A short, steep top section will generate some serious speed into evenly spaced gates with a tricky turn at the midway point. Fast, furious, and put simply, the first across the line wins. While the gates are farther apart than they were in the parallel slalom at the start of this year's jump, but it's a long way down to the finish. Everyone is on edge, or at least they should be. The tighter the turns, the faster the run. And it's Another round of the battle between Spencer Matthews and Gareth Thomas, but it's a race to win and a race against the clock because the could be that both these men will qualify if somebody sets a really fast Racers, standard here. Ready, try, five, So it's Matthews five, on blue, go. Thomas on red, and they're off. And Thomas has a great start, good upper body strength. And over the first couple of gates, it's Gareth Thomas in the lead. Now Spencer Matthews is going to have to pull his good skiing out of the bag. Carbs better turns, I think, than the Welshman. But it's still a very, very tight contest between these two. Wide turn there, three gates from home from Thomas. And Matthews able to carry the speed across the line. Clean skiing, but there was a fast run from both of them. Yes, you wouldn't be surprised to find they're both the, uh, in the final contest on this giant slalom course. So Spencer Matthews definitely through to the semi-final and he had to work for it. Came from behind. You can see 
the look of determination on his face does not blink the whole run down. Quite incredible, the concentration. Just got a little bit back on the tails of his skis there. Could do with pushing himself a little bit further forward into the fronts of his boots, but his skis are carving and that's the difference. That's why he was able to generate the speed. Congratulations to Spencer, you're our winner! You <laughs> <laughs> won something, yay! yay! You're through to the semi final of the Giant Slalom, well done. Thank you. Um, that looked like a fun race. I loved it, like, I don't want to lose, but I, I really enjoyed that race.